Hey guys, and don't forget to visit wildlifecrystal.com for more fun learning. It's an awesome platform for kids, students, teachers, and parents, where you can find tons of information about animals and the environment, blog posts, and more videos. And there's a really awesome Wildlife Crystal shop that has items for sale. Every purchase helps support wildlife conservation initiatives, like this water bottle with this really cute chameleon. I love chameleons. I love reptiles. They're so fun and cool. And this guy wraps around the whole bottle. We're trying to eliminate our plastic use and use single-use things like this water bottle that I'm using today. Refreshing. Wildlife, Crystal, and Kaya the Koala Kids are a future, take action now! Wildlife, Crystal, and Kaya the Koala Learn about animals to make a better world Learn about animals to make a better world Hello! And welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wildlife specialist. As you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are gonna be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the very inquisitive Kaya the Koala. Hello, everyone. I am so glad that you're all here with us today. I'm excited to hear about our new animal of the day. I'm so excited to share all of the clues about our animal of the day with all of our wildlife specialists with us here today. The animal of the day is the second most popular animal in the world. I'm sure their soft fur has helped them reach that status. These animals can live in our homes and are great companions especially because they can sense when you're happy or sad and they can be there for you. These animals have special claws that can go in and out of their paws and they keep the family dog very busy. Okay, I'll give you guys five seconds. Ready, go. I've got it. Come on, everyone. The animal of the day is the cat! Way to go! You're 100% correct. The animal of the day is the cat. Oh, I love cats. They are so cute and cuddly, kind of like me. That is so true. Cats are so lovable and huggable. Let me start you off with a real quick fun fact about cat claws. Cats have sheaths or a covering over each claw, and they need to constantly scratch to help shed or peel off that covering. This happens every two to three months. Wow, that is so interesting. Yeah, you can kind of compare it to us cutting our fingernails and toenails. They always grow back. In fact, cat claws and our nails are made from the same kind of material called keratin. Boy, you are really starting off with a big bang of fun facts. But before we continue, I have to ask the most important question of all. Do cats face any problems or threats? I wish I didn't have to answer that question with a yes, but yes, cats do face some threats. Believe it or not, approximately 3.4 million cats enter the animal shelter system every year. To make matters worse, each year, approximately 1.4 million cats are euthanized or killed because there isn't enough room in animal shelters for all of them. Now that is really horrible. Please tell us what we can do. Let's begin by teaching people the correct way to deal with unwanted cats around our neighborhoods. First, let's remind them that cats help keep pest problems in check. Cats will hunt rodents and insects. They have even been known to kill a few snakes. And not all cats we see outside are stray cats. If we see a cat outside, we should check and see if the cat has a collar or a name tag. We can help them get back to their home simply by contacting their owner. That's a great idea. Let's teach all of our friends and family what to do if a cat does not have any tags. First, 
Capture and contain the cat with tender care, being extra gentle and slow so the cat doesn't get scared and hurt himself. Then the cat should be taken to a nearby shelter and be treated clean and fed. If you cannot safely approach the animal, then call your local animal control for help. They will capture the cat in a proper way and even check and see if the cat has been implanted with a chip. What do you mean by chip? Many cat owners have their veterinarian place a very small microchip in their house cat for the exact purpose of finding their precious cat if he or she happens to get out and get lost. How cool! That makes so much sense. Can shelters look for that chip too? Yes, of course. That's the first thing they do after someone brings in a stray cat. If the cat does not have an owner, then anyone can adopt her. Adopting a cat is the best way to bring home a beautiful, affectionate new friend, and the process is so easy. Our parents can simply complete a small application for adoption and then go through an easy interview with the shelter counselor. Once the counselor approves the application, you can take home the cat that fits best with your family. Remember, adopt, don't shop. Adopting a cat is the best way to give a cat a second chance at being with the right family that will love and care for her forever. Come on, wildlife specialists, repeat with me. Adopt, don't shop. That is such a fun and catchy phrase. Is there anything else that we can do to help cats? Let's also ask our teachers to organize field trips to animal shelters so that we can help take care of the animals there and have fun. This way, they can see how many wildlife specialists there really are. That all sounds perfect. Wildlife specialists, come to the rescue. Good to hear. In the meantime, here's another fun fact. Did you know that cats are known to be somewhat colorblind? Do you mean they cannot see any colors? Actually, cats cannot see black and white. They can only see blue, violet, and yellow green light. This helps them to see much better in the dark. That's like the special glasses that soldiers wear when they need to see at night? Exactly. Cats are very special. You see, cats have been around for thousands of years. They were actually among the first animals to be domesticated, right after the dog, sheep, goat, cow, and pig. There are around 40 species, which range from the tiniest rusty spotted cat to the tigers and lions and leopards. They can be found on every continent in the world except Antarctica. Today, I wanna to talk about the domesticated cats that we love and we have in our homes. Yes, I love cats. There are as many as 70 breeds of domesticated cats. They usually weigh nine to 11 pounds, which is about the weight of a medium-sized bowling ball. They can reach 18 to 20 inches in length, which is about the length of 20 quarters side by side. They are all similar in many ways, of course, but the major thing that sets them apart is their fur coats. There are six types of fur coats, solid, tabby, tortoise, color point, bicolor, and tricolor. Some cats, like the Sphinx, don't have fur, but they do have light pattern on their skin. That is so cool. I never knew that there are so many kinds of cats. Tell us more. No problem. Many people think that cats like to be left alone because they are often running away. But that isn't the case at all. Cats are social animals. And when they're living outdoors, they will tend to stay in groups, especially during mating times. These groups are called a clouder or a clutter. When a group goes hunting together, they might be called a pounce or a glaring. Oh my God, I never heard so many names for the same thing. I guess that's just another way that cats are special. You are right about that, Kaya. Cats are also unique because they are such sentient creatures. Can you explain that please? Of course. Cats are sentient because they have the ability to perceive and respond to sensations like smells, taste, touch, sights, and hearing. They are also able to experience happiness, fear, jealousy, anger, and sadness. 
That is amazing. They are beautiful and sensitive too. In fact, there are some hospitals that allow therapy animals in patients' rooms. And cats are welcome because they help the patients be calm and they cheer them up. I know that cats don't lay eggs, but how do they have babies? Good question again. Cats are mammals, which are animals that, among other things, give birth to their young. About nine weeks after mating, which can happen all year round, the female gives birth to her kittens. She can have anywhere from one to as many as 12 at the same time. The female will take care of her young kittens for the first two months, and then they can go out and be independent. These precious little ones stay very close to their mother, whether they are outside or inside. Mom is never too far away from her kittens, and she is a force to be reckoned with if anything or anyone comes near her babies. Cat moms are super moms. Cats are very well equipped to protect their babies and themselves. To begin with, they have very sharp teeth and retractable claws. This means that their claws can come in and out. This allows them to catch their prey and to defend. Their sharp claws also allow them to climb very well. Cats also have an extremely strong sense of hearing and smell. They can hear sounds three times better than we can hear. Even though they have a short snout, they still have excellent sense of smell. A cat's sense of smell is their main way that she can identify people and objects. Their sense of smell is 14 times better than ours. That's like you walking in after school and knowing there's pasta for dinner. But your cat can walk in and not only identify that it's pasta for dinner, but she can also smell every single herb and every single ingredient in that sauce. That is unbelievable. These fun facts are just what every wildlife specialist needs to share with family and friends. Here's another fun fact you can share. A cat's sense of taste isn't bad either. Cats have small bumps on their tongues, just like us. These bumps allow the cat to taste many different tastes. Some cats, especially the ones in our homes, can be quite finicky as they won't accept to eat just anything. Cats also use their tongues for cleaning. They lick their fur to clean themselves and all of their hair collects in their stomach. About a week in, they will spit out a hairball or two. I guess that's the price of cleanliness, spitting. Yeah, it's not very appealing to hear or see, but it's necessary for their health. What do cats like to eat? I'm glad you asked that question. Like all animals that live in our homes, we must follow a correct diet for them that depends on their breed and their size. Cats are carnivores and usually eat twice a day. The veterinarian will tell you exactly what to feed your house cat. Outdoor cats have exceptional hunting skills. They will eat any animal smaller than them. Because cats are digigrades, they are able to be stealth when approaching their prey. Digi to what? Yeah, I agree. That is a unique word that we don't hear much. Digigrades are animals that walk sort of on their toes and not touching the ground with their heels. Cats walk on all four legs, using their toes to keep their body balanced. The legs of each side of the body move together. This helps them stay quiet when they're hunting and not to be heard when they're coming from behind. That is so awesome. I am totally convinced that cats are the ultimate warriors. They can see at night and they can sneak up on you quietly. That is so cool. I love being a wildlife specialist and helping animals, especially cats. Animals help us so much, we need to return the favor. Let's always strive to be a part of the solution. And remember, it's up to us, the future generation, to make sure that they have a place to live. Let's always work together to make sure that animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. And now it's question time. Kai, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. 
True or false? Cats were the absolute first domesticated animal ever. The correct answer is false. Cats were domesticated after the dog and even after the cows and pigs. What do we call a group of cats? Is it A, a chowder, B, a powder, C, a clouder, or D, a cloud? The correct answer is C, a clouder. True or false? Cats have great night vision. The correct answer is true. Cats have great night vision. You guys did great. Kai and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about one animal and their 